Hello YouTube. So I did have a little audio bit for this clip, but um, I wasn't quite happy with how I yabbered it on, so we're re-recording it. So um, yeah, welcome to the YouTube channel um, where I'll be posting weekly content going forward. We're going to aim for at least two videos a week, depending on other stuff that's coming up, news and other content we delve into. At the minute, we're trying to go in experience game loops and just give you a kind of snippet of what you would call a newbie playing Star Citizen. I'm relatively new to the game, so it gives you an idea of kind of what there is to experience from a less experienced and kind of a, a newer player rather than someone that just knows exactly what to do. Um, I will be live streaming some of this on my Facebook and Twitch. Uh, on Facebook, I stream some other content as well. Um, and we'll be covering with the game as well with, with live streams as well as obviously videos on YouTube, updates and... Um, news as well for for star citizen and everything going forward um hopefully um you'll think the content gets better over time as well that is the plan of me getting better every time i record one of these videos i know what to crop out i know how to get things done quicker it took a while to edit this video it was like an hour and 20 minutes i got it down to around 50 minutes or so it's a bit longer today but i do talk about a lot of other game mechanics within it and kind of my experience with the game um, and it will get a bit more refined and, and hopefully shorter going forwards. And without further ado, we're going to jump into the video and crack on with the action. But please do consider hitting that like and subscribe. We are really trying to grow the channel now and be focusing a lot of energy into this now. Um, and also feel free to jump into those comments. I always do encourage um, constructive feedback um, or just let me know if you enjoyed it. Anyways, let's, um, let's enjoy the video. So to set the stage, and before I hand you over to my pre-recorded um, audio that was uh, went alongside this video, we are in my brand new Constellation and drummer that I just bought. Uh, I was saving up in game for it, but we went through the Pledge Store because it's an awesome ship and something I wanted for a while. Uh, first mission we do is a missing persons mission. So I've tried to keep it as a kind of as a raw experience as possible. Uh, that get that organic feeling of what it truly is like to play Star Citizen, um, especially from kind of a new player's perspective. So without further ado. Enjoy the video. We've just called out our Prometheus. Our Prometheus, I wish it was Prometheus. Our Constellation Andromeda. I don't even know where I, where did I get Prometheus from? Oh, in a moment. So this is our brand new ship we just got. We just bought this. It is huge. So are the guns. You got, you got a gun down there on the kind of landing gear. The bottom strut and you got one up there as well and one of these you can replace with a size five i think these two are size fours so they're huge guns some of the biggest in the game and it's a pretty good solo ship because you can control them from the pilot seat but i used the character that's actually free to use at the minute for the free fly event i do like the blue tint on the windows there you can see um it's a pretty big hangar we're in as well this isn't the biggest ship in the game by far but it is pretty big it, it in regards to some of the fighters and some of the kind of starter ships and some of the like light freights and stuff like that this is actually a snub fighter that's built into it you can have automatic docking built into it so you come in and it will dock for you and it's very cool you've got a ladder there i don't even know what that ladder's for i presume that's a ladder for the fighter we'll figure that out Pretty sure the cockpit's there. Not f you. Um, yeah, we'll, f we'll figure that one out. It can land, and we have got a landing bay here. So let's just show you the cargo bay. Uh, let's activate this quickly, just so you guys can see what I'm on about. We'll open the cargo bay. We have got a mission that we're. Oh, let me check. I haven't got a timeline for this. Accepted missions. Doesn't look like it's time based, but we've got to go fly. We'll set a waypoint once we're on the ship and in the cockpit. So this is the load, the cargo bay. We can go up into that as well. We can fit 96,000 cargo on there. 96 SCU. This is the measurement for Star Citizen. There is different variations of this as well. Um, you got the Phoenix, which is... Uh, I'll put this up. Which is, where's the screen? Right here. 
No, it was on one of the corners. We'll, close, we'll put that back up. The Taurus has got a loading bay instead of that snub fighter. That's the only one without a snub fighter. You have the Phoenix, which is the luxury version of this. Um, it's got a smaller loading bay, um, but it's also got a room above the loading bay, which this ship hasn't, and the other variations haven't. Um, which has got a conference room and like um, he's even got a hot tub and stuff on it. And then there is the um, Aquila. And that's the scanning version of it as well. So you've got the Phoenix, the Luxury. We are only in the, in the Andromeda, which is more of the fighter. Uh, the Aquila, which is the scanner. And then Taurus, which is the like, freight version. Uh, we'll go through the ship quickly. So you've got this table's meant to pop out, but I think it's a little bit glitched. A little work in progress here. We've got lockers to store stuff in here. A um, little bathroom here as well. Or a little shower, shall I say. You can use it as a bathroom, you know, I wouldn't judge you. Um, and then you've got uh, four beds here as well we can lie on. Um, and you can, that means you can actually save the game, log out in this. And then when you log back in, you'll be wherever your ship is being left. So you can go orbit in the planet and log out there instead of having to go down to a planet or med bay and then we can go all the way back here as well and I think this yeah this is where the snub fire is so this is normally a loading uh, cargo bay for the Taurus which I was considering it is the cheaper of the four variants the Constellation series is one of the oldest ships in the game it's um, apparently um, I'm trying to think of his name now I'm terrible with remembering I'm learning all this as I go um, Chris, Chris Roberts, I think it is. It was Roberts Space Industries, where he comes from. He's the CEO of um, the developer of the game. Um, it's his favourite ship. So it's, it's a good ship to choose, I suppose, because it's always going to be looked after. There's two turrets there as well, You just behind me. Uh, top and bottom of the ship. So you've got... Um, let's have a little pan around. Yeah, so they'll pop, the turret will pop out. You see that little lock, airlock at the top? Trying to zoom in here, getting used to this. Yeah, that little airlock, that's, um, that's where one of the turrets pop out, and you have a turret underneath as well. That all. Where is it? Yeah, just around here somewhere. You'll drop down in the turret there as well. And then you do have a. Do we have another turret somewhere? I'm trying to think where there's another turret. I think that's it. I think we've got the two turrets there. Yeah, that's it. And then obviously the main guns and the snub fighter as well. I think that's enough, though. So, let's set our destination before we take off, and then we'll... So we're at Microtech, we're actually at Port Olasar, so we're not on the ground, so we haven't got to get out of the atmosphere. So we're here in the space station above the main city. And we've got to go to here. We've got to go to the derelict site here. So we're just going to set route to... I always struggle with this. It's this is little teething problems like this that... Just set on a destination, you'd think, oh, that's got to be easy. It's a clear route. Well, I've got to be in space before I set a route. Maybe we try that. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Little things like that. Right. Um, shield's critical. Is it because they're powering up? Oh, it's because I've got all power to engines. Let's send... Alright, and a request to take off. The good thing about this is how many screens we have. Some ships only have like two. So we've got so oh I didn't even need to do it on this one. Target status, what have we not got selected? That's mine. I think target status is actually probably something good to have on that screen because we're not using it right now. We can check power. Maybe it doesn't want to work. Right, I'm gonna request it to leave. There we go, Port Tresla. Let me go. I thought it was an Olasar for some reason. I don't know where I am. These doors open. It's pretty cool. Look. All the mechanics behind it's not just a open and closed door. We're gonna take off slightly. Someone's firing. 
There is a space fight going on right now. What? Dog fight? Who's he firing at? Or is he just testing his weapons? No, uh, well, we're not going to get involved with that. Right, now we've taken off. Let's have a look at where we need to go. Oh, that's at the route. I just wasn't shown before. Okay, well, that's all we need to know. Right, we're going to go and press B now to... Oh, no, we already had we already had our quantum spooled up. I didn't know that was spooled up. The only thing about this ship is these metal bars in the middle of the front screen. Right, well, we got to go to go this way. Now I'm gonna get me joystick working. Thank you. Got it right. Got it right. Shouldn't take us long at all. We're in the same subsystem as such. We are in just one system in the game. The whole the whole game in the minute, which is huge, is just one one system, and they're gonna be adding potentially hundreds of them, which is crazy. Because right, we've got 111 kilometers to go. This is not ideal. Right, we're going to transfer power to... I've got to remember this. Wish my head track and would work. I think I don't know if I can do that in the game, actually. is um, I, There's stuff like the Toby eye tracker and head tracker and stuff you can add to the game. Comms wipe and head tracking. Okay, head tracking. Let's just see if we can use our actual webcam we're using. Head tracking in general. Oh, it has to be a track IR face where VoIP must be enabled. What the hell's Yoi? Are these dish just different devices? I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. I've got a normal webcam. I swear I would do. Oh, it does work. Oh, it's kind of working. Oh, it is working. Oh. Oh, it's a bit janky. It is a bit janky. Hang on. My webcam is actually not central right now. This is new. Tilt my head. Oh my god. See, if I had a really good head tracker, this is something I might have to invest in because this is pretty cool. Look down to my left. Look down to my right. Oh my. This is just from a. I've actually got a Logitech. Uh, what the hell was it? C920? C920, I think it is. Right, shall we get to this missing persons? Uh, we're going to put more power to the engine, so that's working now. Oh god. Guys, if I'm making you drunk, imagine how I feel. Can I change the sensitivity of it? Right, we're going to go in cruise control. We're just using mouse and keyboard right now, but we are going to be trying to get the uh, settings up of that. Right, I'm just moving my top monitor. So I've got a monitor above it, each other. And at the minute, there's not enough space between them to put this webcam in the middle of my screen, which should give me a better head tracking ability. Oh, testing, testing. Right. Let me just see if we can change the sensitivity of this head tracking. Let's just test that. Oh my god, that's better. Right, we've got a sight. Oh, this is really good. So I just need to check that top screen there. Oh. Okay, so this is with a base camera. I know the other technology. The track IR is a bit cheaper. That's a faster response time, but not as accurate. It hasn't got eye tracker, and then you've got the Toby eye tracker, which does both. 
I've been 10 kilometers now. So I'm gonna wheel down that speed so we're not crashing into the planet. I don't know if my, um, I don't know if, how do I tell if my lights are on? Is there any display to check that? We don't know. Screens, cargo bay, transponder, thrusting. We can pulse. See where the ground is. All right, we're going to slow a bit further down now. Take cruise control off. Now we're just going to control it manually. Speed up a little bit. We can slow down when we get a bit closer. Derelict ship we're coming up to. I don't know if this if this has actual lights on it. Right, a minute. I'm just gonna press that button and reset our power. What altitude are we? Oh, the altimeter is broken. Oh, we have got a torque. Here we go, we've got headlights. Um, oh, did I, I had, do you know what? I actually had my landing gear out the whole time. Or did I? Oh, no, I didn't. I, I did have it tucked away. I think when it goes into quantum, actually remembering correctly. How cool does that look there? There's a me in my cockpit there. And then there's obviously there's the front lights. Very blinding. Oh. Look at that though. It's amazing. Alright, let's come in for a landing. Oh. Forward. And we'll go that way slightly. We'll land quite close. But we've got to look for someone. I think that's the mission. I really should know what I'm doing. Missing person. Yeah. Of course. No wonder. We will. We'll, we'll, let's not land on the actual ship. Because the camera's off center. I need to center this up. There we go, there we go. Steady, steady. Right, not turning anymore. Landing. Forward, steady. Steady. Oh no. We're landing on the brake. Oh, do you know what it is? It's this storm. Right, we're going to keep the engines on. I've actually seen ships blown away. I think my ship's too too big to get blown away. But the other day, an absolute nightmare of a time on the planet. Right, we're going to put full power to shields while we're here. Actually, I can... Right, let me remember that. If I hold it down, it just puts all the power straight there. Right. So it just prioritises. There is still power going to the engines and weapons, as far as I'm aware. Let's just test. Yep. Hopefully I didn't kill anyone. Um, it's just they're not as powerful. Like the my extra power or auxiliary power is going to the shields. Right, we can get there. One thing: always make sure you got a helmet on before you exit the ship, or or in a space station. Right, we might get blown over here. Yeah. I'm oh my! Whoa! Holy guacamole, that's windy. I just got blown off my feet. I've got 20... Uh, it's minus 88. What? This is as fast as I can walk because of the storm. Right, don't you go anywhere, ship. I've left the engines on so they can auto-stabilise. Right, we're at derelict site and I think we've got to look for a missing person. The, one of the missions I had to find eight people on one wreckage and I found six and then two of the bodies were like not letting me um, do anything. Now I did pick up resources like these crates last time I was there but then I went to somewhere to sell them and I couldn't. Is this who we need? Really hope that's not the guy because I've just spoke up. This guy's not searchable. 
we're gonna hope that that's not the person I was after that I've been sent on to sent here to check on I think this is a pretty small ship I don't know if there's an upstairs oh there is an upstairs I can see there um, torch it's a different key T for torch you know it's, it's quite obvious but there's L for lights on the ship so kind of keeps you on your toes with the key binds Who have we got? Uh, right, let me just check the quest. Contract manager accepted. Missing person. Locate refinery operator Ik Ikbal Koneshaw. 18k. I don't know why I'm pressing the wrong keys there. Aha. We can't loot him, which is annoying. Or oh, we can grab. We'll just strip that man. Um, don't tell anyone. Our little secret. I did not. Nick his clothes. You look like an Iqbal. Is it Iqbal we're looking for? Can we not put this on? Okay, well, it let me take a couple of the items. I wasn't really expecting to be able to loot anyone. Right, ship's still there, it's not been blown away, it's a good start. Um, got any weapons? Any tools? That's downstairs where we came up. Is there another upstairs? We went through here as well. It's the back of the ship. Oh my god! Where have I gone? Oh my god. Where am I going? Where am I? Where am I? Oh my god, I got blown off the top. Did I get fall down from up there? Holy moly. Um, what have I got stuck on my feet? Bit a bit of a problem. Got some resources we can pick up out here. So we were in the front of the ship there. We'll go around this way. What's our survival time? Four minutes. Oh my! I can't see where I'm going. Move your hand. See, there's wreckage over there, part, part of this wreckage on over there. So that might be where the guy is. Alright, let's just get back inside the ship. We're going to ignore the backpack that seems to, like, we're, we're taking it for a walk. No! The wind blew me off the... Don't blow me off. We're in. Can I see now? Oh my god, look at my my suit. I'm not in a good way. I think I've got an EpiPen.
Right. Give myself some drugs. We're okay. Don't know what my survival time is going to be like when I go back outside. It's because I've not got a proper. I've just got a, like a cheap suit on. Oh, this is in my backpack. I don't know how I'm carrying this. There we go, right. So I think this backpack, I didn't realise I picked the backpack up. Right, is this better than what I've got on? Flight suit, flight suit. Is a general use for agility designed to all protection against the environment? Vacuum. Minus 30 to 60 degrees. Oh, okay, so it is less than minus 30, or shall I say more than minus 30. Yeah, th this is a glitched a bit. Oh, there we go. So if we put it, like, separated outside of the backpack. There we go. Oh, hello. Now we can put stuff on. There's this armor that we just put our Avril Core temp rating minus 61. Okay, so that should give us more survival. I didn't even know I picked up. So that backpack had two different armors in it. And one of the armors was what I had to wear. I'm not, I don't need the fire. I'm going the wrong way. Absolutely losing it. Apparently, I'm still under the stim effect on the bottom of the screen. Right, let's go try and find this person. Take two. I think we have m one more med. I'd like to. Eight minutes. Oh, God. Oh, my. Yep. Wind, thank you. Okay, I can run. Oh, and he's put his hand up already. Do we check on the, like, the debris over here? I feel like we do this. Because then we can dip back in the ship to, like, bring our survival time back up. Let's get the torch out. Cool, that's one of the big repeaters. We're after the uh, engineer, aren't we? Or something along those lines. This is a big crash, right? I think these are relatively new to the game as well, which is cool. It's like this kind of debris and wrecks and stuff they're adding to the game. I found a body. It's, it's, it's a good sign. Oh, it popped up with something and I thought that was the man I needed. Don't do that to me, game. We can't get out of the way. We, we too uh, chunky now with his armor. Oh my god. Alright. My character needs to put a bit of weight on, apparently, when I'm going on a windy planet. I'm getting blown off my feet. Left, right and centre. Right, there's got to be another body around here. I, I feel it. I do like the weathers and stuff. Though. They're going to be adding like seasons and stuff to the game. As well as obviously day and night cycles on each planet. Which is like obviously almost like real time with the with their orbit. But you also have um, weather they're going to add to the game and then seasons as well. So they've added cloud systems and stuff. And obviously clouds then can affect sunlight and how bright it is at night as well so obviously there's no clouds here though I don't think actually there's clouds on moons we're actually on a moon right now so that's why we need this uh, suit oh two minutes yeah we need to get back to the ship two minutes of our time so we're going to go back to the ship and then I believe so we've checked this debris over here I can't jump I can't jump I can't run I am, this is the fastest I can move right now. So the wind's coming from the left. If we get behind here, can we... Fu oh yeah, we can run faster. Look at that. We have 2 minutes 26 to get back in the ship. This is ridiculous. We can mess things up now. It is windy. So let's try not flying. I'm thinking I can use the searchlight for body so I can dip in and out this fire. It, it's going to help with my survival time. These are very nimble fighters, but I don't know if you can take off while you're 
There's one way to find out. Oh, we ain't got engines on. Engines are on. And N. Okay, what out if I turn the whole ship on? All I did was turn the engine on, nothing else, no, none of the subsystems. Yep. Alright, okay. Oh. Request the dock? Undock, you mean? Um, what about holding it now? Uh, right, I think what it is, is is because we're... I've got a theory. Let's go see what survival time we have now we've let our body temperature come up. If not, I'm going to put this ship in orbit, then I'm going to come down to the planet. Or down to the moon, shall I say. In the jet. In the fire jet. I should be... Hopefully it doesn't get blown away. We'll be in a bit of a predicament. Right, we're going to check over here, won't we? Let's go. Oh my! What? No! I went flying! That's not the way out. I went from there! What? Is that... Are they trying to tell me I'm meant to be over here? I mean, now I'm over here, we might as well check. Well, we've got five minutes of survival time. This is absurd. Okay, so the, the limited gravity on this planet, jumping definitely does help. Let's center up the camera a bit. We camouflaged in with the rubble and stuff here. There's no help. My character keeps putting hands. He's trying to do like hand puppets in the in the cam in the in the light. Don't lie and tell me you haven't done that. Oh, what's that over there? Is that another part of the ship all the way down there? That is. I feel like if we can get inside the ship. We've got three minutes of survival time. You put your hand down there. Thank you. Three minutes, forty-six. Like we're not, we're not exposed to the elements. How dare you keep ticking down my survival time? That's not lootable. Oh my God, wind! We are definitely going to have to use this that fighter jet trick, I think. But then I'm worried about it blowing away. I was hoping this was going to be a successful mission to record. And it doesn't seem like this is going to be the case. We've survived now. Oh, two minutes of our time. Come on. Get in the ship, soldier. I don't know why I'm saying soldier. I'm more of an explorer today. Just, you know, like an investigator. Right. We're going to try it. We won't know until we try. I can't take any more. I'm sixty-eight percent health. Unless we just use this bad boy. Oh, is that? But no, no, do not. Ro what the hell are you doing? Are we not in veto mode? Oh, we are now. You see them flaps open? So you can see them on different parts of the ship as well. I think there's some at the back. So you see at the front. Now if I put VTOL mode. Yep, there they are as well on the wings. So now we are better for atmospheric flight. Not sure why we weren't in the first place. Right, this, this debris right underneath me is where we haven't searched. Awesome.
Right. Body temperature is gotta be okay now. We've got all this extra survival gear on now. There's still like eight minutes. To, okay, eight minutes is good. This is quite far away. We checked the one up there. I didn't even think I knew about this one. Quite a cool effect, like the heat of the engine blowing off still. Right, could they be inside? We're going to guess that's like the, the smart thing to do if you're one of the crew members. But with this wind, they could have got blown anywhere. Right, let's change it to first person camera. What are these? Um, so we could take these crates, we could pick them up. Not that one actually, it's not movable. But some, most of these crates are. Is there no one in it? Have I just... You son of a bitch. Got me. Got my hopes up. Again, five minutes survival time. No. We'll see if we can be smart about it. I don't know if they're going to be like that in the game. Would it be funny if he's on the one of my landing struts? Can't find him. Well, you've, you've squished him into the ground, sir. That's why. Almost there. Oh my god, my house going down 60%. My body temperature dropped to 28 degrees. Oh, and this is like off the ground. Oh no, this is this could be bad. Oh no, thank god for the gravity. Get me on the ship. I like when I get on the platform, I get like an extra minute of survival time. Right, let's read the quest. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Get yourself together. Do you know what? I wonder if I warm up quicker or I lay down on the bed. Enter bed. I need to take a lay down. Oh, hello. We've got a flat screen TV. Can we watch some TikTok? No, I don't want to log out. Steady on. I'm not giving up yet. Yeah, my health. I'm pretty sure my body temperature just spiked up. Okay, we'll let, we're having a little lay down next time. Good luck we have another look on the ship. I'm going to get closer to the ship. Refinery operator. So we'd be inside the ship, wouldn't he? But this is like the... Is that like the cent center of the ship? All right, let's go. But like this, is, this is not the front of the ship. What is that noise? Hello? Oh, it's the flares. Calm down. Panic over. Yeah, I need life support. That's life support for the shit. Right. Let's go. Survival time? Four minutes. It's getting less every time I get off the ship. I think it's because I've got 58% health. Well, right, if I get inside the ship, survival time should go up. Give me a bit more search time. No pro. Well, there is pressure. There is a lot of pressure. I feel like we've got to, like, fail our first... first mission. It's not easy. I mean, I like it's not easy, because... Someone's missing for a reason, you know. If it's easy to find, he'd be like, "Oh, why do you need to send someone? Why did I need to go on the mission? They were right there. They were at the front door. Most certainly aren't." Oh, hello. No, I think I've said the other one. I stripped. We will not talk about that again. Oh, did I not go? Oh, I did go upstairs before. I did because I got blown out the top. Right, refinery. Is there any other doors I can go in? 
Well, I don't think we went this way before. Come on, please. Please be something like this, or I went the wrong way. Hello? Refinery operator? Oh, do you reckon he's in there? Hello? Well, I, I, I think he's actually, like, perished, so... Me, me shouting at him. Why not actually work? Mind your head. I will. Am I crawling through here and I could have just walked down the corridor? Yeah, we're, we're just doing a bit, you know. Version there by having the crop get on our hands and knees. Where'd they stash this man? Did he get like murdered and buried? Like. Please. Yes! No! Commodity price alerts. Did we finish it? Commodity, what? Was that not him? Was this new? I thought that's who I was looking for all this time. We're going to have to get back on the ship, I think. Oh, we found another body. Yes! We've done it! We li What were you doing here? This isn't a refinery, you fool! And he's disappeared. You got blown away. Let's just Let's just go with that. 18k for that. I mean, I w oh no, don't tell me I'm going to die now. Three minutes. Shit. Let me, uh, sat nav? Anyone? I forgot where I'm going. Ah, oh, downstairs. Okay. We parked very close. We can make it. <gasps> Can't see. Crouch. Did we just do it? We done it. Oh, that was emotional. I nearly died. I've got 50% health. Hmm. Temperature's coming back, back up. I'm 29 degrees. It, hopefully this pilot seat that looks very sophisticated has got heated seats. Right, there's all systems on. We've got a full power of shields, so let's reset that to center. What should we get? Yeah, let's do that. And we're going to center this camera. We're going to zoom out. We're going to actually uh, go into orbit. We're going to take a, the just to finish off the the video. Should we get some? I feel like this is an opportunity for a screenshot. No, no, what, 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 This wind. Stop barrel rolling my ship, like, behave. I'm in VTOL mode and it's still, like, kicking my butt. Right, let's go. Let's get out of the atmosphere. That was emotional. I just realised that, like, there's whole oceans on this moon. What planet is this? Well, not planet, but moon. We are on. From Microtech, we're at. Clear. Ah, oh, clear. We're just going to go kind of like cruise control just above the planet, so we're making sure we're not going to go back into the atmosphere. Scroll up and we'll press C there. Look at this. In cruise control. Flying above the mountains, all in the clouds there. Look at us go. We're kind of pulling away from the planet a little bit. 
Right, we're going to uh, get in the... Just to finish off, just show you off what we were trying to do earlier, but we couldn't do it because we were in atmosphere. And I haven't actually done this yet, but we've docked and undocked and stuff, so... Experiencing this for the first time. Hello. Thank you. Look at that seat move. Oh, that looks super comfy to see. Right. If you press R, that's put flight system ready. But oh, once I'm sat down, I'm going to finish and switch on. Kruger Intergalactic. Right. Engine on. It should be on. Just that unlock. Press to unlock. What loud is that? Right. Let's hope this is it. If not, we're just giving up. So I have to search for it. Right, on. Right, Um... Um, what? The crap just happened. Did we fly into the planet? I don't think so. We were just in orbit. What? I think that's glitched. I, I, I... What? I don't believe that's just happened. I don't believe it's just happened. Yes, I highly disbanded and left voice chat. Yeah. I'm not happy. I mean, we completed the mission. Good on. Right. I think that's a great note to finish on because that has just blown me away. Where are we going? Medical concerns got you worried? That. I've got more of the medical concerns, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, I'm going to figure this out. We might do this on the next video of flying the Merlin around. Uh, I'm going to research it and find out why it just made my ship blow up. Maybe the docking thing was just broke. Either I pressed the wrong button. Um, I might have hit the fire button on, on the fighter, but it shouldn't have worked. And I shouldn't have blown the ship up because I would have had four shields. Unless I was... I don't know. I really don't know what just happened. I'll maybe try and recreate it and figure out what happened. But yeah, I might post it in the comments. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, let's not do this exact thing next time. Let's not blow up. But um, we completed a mission at least. And uh, yeah, on to the next one. Remember to uh, like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, follow. Subs yeah, I, I think that's it. That's it. Yeah, covered it all. Like, subscribe, sub, comment, all, all the above. Thanks, everyone. Much love, and I'll catch you on the next one.